Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Fuck the green screen today. This shit might get personal. To my subscribers, I, I apologize. I usually get things 24 hours. Video wise. But as some of my subscribers know, I put up a post yesterday. It was a guy uh, talking mess. He's like, he was just, he was heavy on Goose the Great's pole job. And one that uh, flaunt his lavish lifestyle. But this video ain't about that. Due to further uh, research, shout out to GMS. He would know better than anybody. Um, you know, Corey Holcomb's lead man, so to speak, right? Want to go by threatening all YouTubers. I just want to say, you picked the right motherfucker today. Trust that. And now, uh, this, this video, I ain't going to be on no gangster shit. But as they always say, if you feel froggy, jump, my nigga. It's funny. You said in these, uh, these same statements. Now I'm talking to you, Gooch. You said these same things. Oh, Corey doesn't know who he is. Nobody know who he is. You attend shows and get money. Uh, no, no. You, you spend your money to go to the shows. Nigga, I said that when I was like one of the... the, the I would say second, or uh, uh, maybe the top leading for fit everyone. Every time you type in 5150, guess who fucking name came up? It was me. You didn't have shit to say then, or maybe you did. Because I was getting a whole lot of comments, a whole lot of haters or whatever that I was defending off. And I know someone probably had to be in you. I didn't give a fuck at the time. But it just lets me know you that got time out of your hand, out your day, so to speak. To want to go around and, you know, fuck with 5150 niggas. Uh, 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 people that uh, critique the show, so to speak. Well, I'm here for you. And I'm going to tell you just like this here. I don't give a... I don't give a fuck since you the new guy that want to go around censorship and blocking people and all that shit. You can add me to the list, nigga. I ain't did nothing but humbly give you a balanced view of the show. If you don't think that's the case, you cool with Zoe Williams. Are you cool with Zoe Williams? He said I was the most balanced when it came to this shit. Which, you know, I mean, I've seen a lot of other balanced uh, 5150 guys um, that cover this. Oh, and women. I wish I can pull up <laughs> text. Uh, I'm going to learn how to edit and be able to pull up my own phone screen like on, on the thing and be able to read out. So we're going to get in. To a lot of, you know what, I'm not even, fuck your comments. I'ma just tell you what I know about you. Since you so research and you know so much about us and you can find us, I'ma get to that part later. But let's just, let's run your resume since you was on the burner account, right? Talking about this lavish lifestyle Gooch have. You talking to yourself in third person, right? Let me tell you what I know about you, bitch ass nigga. You don't think some of us do our research? I don't say shit. But we know about you. Let's start with this, Mr. Money, with your broke ass. Nigga, I know about you posting floor money Mayweather betting ticket on your IG to try to make it look like you was betting that kind of cash. Can you say expose? And you got a lot of niggas blinded by smoke and mirrors. We know who you used to be. We know exactly who you used to be. But you think we give a fuck? Some of us. We're uh, 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 pre, uh, pre -teen, uh, uh, not even in, in our manhood then. I'm talking to you, son, because you acting like a little child right now. You my son today. Nigga, you sitting up here worried about somebody, what, what somebody dry. Let me tell you how much of a bitch you are. I pull up in that same damn work truck with my date. She ain't got no complaints. And I went to the show. 
Now, if you, Gooch, I'm warning you right now. If you ever decide to do any fuck shit and bring that shit to my way, you know where we at. I'm in Atlanta, just like you claim you in Atlanta. And this is not a threat. I'm a father at the end of the day. Gooch, just like another YouTuber told you, you bleed just like I bleed. And on top of that, if you had this much venom, you was at least six to eight feet away from me from the table right next to me. Looking at me like a little bitch, like you was going to do something in that show with the security right there. Yeah, you size me, you size me up. You know I'm a short, stocky motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. I'm unmovable. And I and I say short because I, I'm not at six foot, but I'm like li uh, linebacker height. Some of your famous, some of your famous linebackers, you know they some short motherfuckers, but we stocky. And Gooch, I ain't got the best physique, but I'm in way better shape than you, nigga. And plus. I know you just recently had back surgery with your bad back ass nigga. I mean, shit happens as we get older, but I just want you to know, just like you, uh, Corby on that certain type of timing with another YouTuber, you're not what you used to be. You're old. You're very vulnerable. Some of us YouTuber in the, are in the prime of our lives strength wise. So you already know you don't want to take it there. Everybody got guns. Physically, you know, looking at me that this motherfucker might give me a problem. That's probably why I hung around the show since you threatened all the goddamn YouTubers out there. You didn't come out. You had your chance then. Why get on a damn YouTube page, a burner account, and start talking this shit now? You had your chance. Game over, nigga. Pussy move. I can really do this shit all day. I can burn you, nigga. You look like you escaped the fucking fire, my nigga. Your face fucked up. I understand why you got to pay for pussy. You got to leave with your wallet, my nigga. You won't have, you would never have the swag of charisma I have, my nigga. I don't care who you was tied with. Your money would never create swag like this nigga here. You understand? So, Gooch, I'm going to leave you with one thing. Like I say, if you feel, you know, y'all, you, you and Corey, y'all talk all this shit about, oh, we'll find you. We'll find you. Y'all a bunch of old niggas that's just learning technology. I'm a real nerd, nigga. Now, there are some people on here a lot more tech savvy than me. But, nigga, I, let, let me tell you something about how can you five a nigga right here when I'm smart enough to use VPN, VPNs to delve in other kind of shit when I do deep research. You would get a bogus IP in Atlanta and even then it don't give you the, the pinpointed location. Even if your dumb ass can pay somebody to try to track where the fuck I'm in, they would, they, I'm smart enough to realize I'm using the VPN now. I can send... That motherfucker somewhere else and have eyes on you, nigga. Let me tell you how easy y'all are. Y'all talking shit online in the area that I am. If I was on that type of timing, we just leave them damn, them, 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 them niggas with no sense in my family. We going to leave them alone. But nigga, if I was on that type of timing, I would have had the club circled already and wait for you to get there. If I was on that type of timing, but I ain't, I don't know if I'm supposed to say allegedly behind that. This is no threat, but this right here, Gooch the great bitch, the great. Yeah. I, I, I know you got wing of it. You know exactly who I am. Y'all niggas had nothing to say when I was leading the search in 5150 and I just fell back. Obviously I touch you. I touch somewhere there. Cause you physically seen me, you know who I, you know what I look like, and you know physically you can't fuck with me. You a out of shape ass nigga with a bad back, still making threat to young, healthy, strong ass YouTubers. Stop it. Or really be somebody to make sure you don't see social security. I mean, those are just, that's just common sense. You get on the internet over here talking shit, threatening people. It's going to be somebody to match your energy. I'm just saying. 
This your boy DC the truth. Let me drop this motherfucking mic. For real. Honestly, I don't know who the fuck to trust. This is my friend or my foe. I'm a ex bro. Yeah, she give me that claim as well. I remember back when I was younger, I was happy. Now they feel like no one understand me. I'm good at all the silly, I'm about to blame me. Baby, see yellow text.